Hello everyone, my name is Perry and I am here bringing you episode four of the On Mission podcast. And today's uh, uh, message and the next several are all going to be based on the verse from John chapter 13, verse 35, where Jesus told his disciples that they will know you by your love. Uh, and so uh, we are going to be diving into that uh, and what it means to be on mission for Jesus and it's all going to be wrapped around this verse. And so we're going to get into some more specifics about how to show people love around us. And that is what that verse is all about. Uh, our love for other people, including our own fellow believers, should be so great and so awesome that it makes people wonder, what is different with you guys? Why are you loving people the way you do? And so we can interact in every part of our life in a way that isn't quite normal. You know, there are a lot of things that that people do uh, in our world where they show love to each other, whether or not they follow Jesus. But there are things that we can do that can go above and beyond. And the one thing that we can do is how we use our time. Uh, time is our most valuable commodity. And so the next several episodes, we're going to be talking about how can we utilize our time to show people love. And so one of the things that we need to be careful about is technology. Uh, I love technology. It, it provides so many awesome tools for us. Uh, in fact, I'm recording this on my phone right now. Our phones are literally attached to our hips. Uh, we carry them everywhere with us. Uh, it allows us to be incredibly connected with people. It allows us to get so many awesome things done and to do so many great things uh, for others and for ourselves. But Unfortunately, they can also be extreme time wasters. You can get sucked in to your phone with all of the different apps, the games, and uh, the social media accounts that you might have. Uh, and it's just one of those things where you have to be careful because before you know it, you've just blown an hour or two hours. And it's one thing to veg out for a little bit and to try to rest. But unfortunately, a lot of the things that we do on our phone, especially when it comes to social media, really don't help us in that sort of way. They are actually uh, more of a detriment. They cause you to compare yourself with other people. They uh, cause you to get depressed because of all the bad news that you see. And then you see the arguments that are happening as a result. And it can really put you in a very, very dark place. And so you got to be careful with what you're following, with what you're engaging when you're on social media. Uh, and so it can be a time sucker. And you got to be so careful about that. And uh, the thing is, is it's hard to be on mission when you're just doing mindless, uh, brainless work or things because you're just not thinking about it. But the thing about being on mission, the thing about loving people in a way that turns heads, that makes people wonder, like, why are you loving me in this way? That kind of love only happens through intention. You have to be intentional if you want to do that. And so when it comes to social media and technology, it is no different. If you are intentional, it can be one of the greatest tools and it can be a tool that shows people that you love them so, so very much. Uh, and so as you're on social media, uh, I'm sure many of you are probably on social media almost every day. You're watching this on some sort of so form of social media or you're listening to this on a podcast. You know, all of these episodes are on uh, my Instagram page and several other Instagram pages and Facebook pages and it's on Podbean and all those different things. Uh, so you are utilizing some sort of technology for this. And they're, again, they're great tools. Um, but other people are doing the same thing. And so we can utilize technology as a way to show people our love. And I get it. In some ways, it's not as great for many of us uh, than a face-to-face -face type of relationship. But if you see that someone's struggling, or if you see that someone is responding in a way that just seems uncharacteristic of them uh, in, in such a negative way or something like that, you have an opportunity when you see those things to be able to reach out to those people and show them that you care. Uh, it's more than just leaving an emoji or, or, or a like or a dislike or anything like that. It is reaching out to them directly, leaving a comment, saying that you care about them, asking them questions, setting up a coffee date later, um, and who knows how that might affect them. 
because so many times we go through and we get uh, little likes and different comments here and there, but they're often very shallow. Uh, they really are quite meaningless. And yet, for some reason, people are willing to kind of spill out their guts on social media. People get really vulnerable for it. Uh, and so that's kind of a cry for help. So we can take advantage of that and we can say, hey, you know what? We love you. We know you're struggling. How can we help you? Uh, you know, a great example of this is uh, I just had an interaction with a woman on Facebook. I haven't seen her in a really, really long time. I got to coach her son last year in youth football. He's now moved up, saw her post some pictures of her son uh, playing football. They just had a great victory. It was it, playing down there for Myrtle Beach. And I just got to reach out to her and say, hey, you know, it's so awesome to see those pics. Uh, you know, if, if Big E would ever like to come and join us uh, at some point at our youth group, we've got some amazing things going on. And it is so amazing how that little interaction led to more. She shared more with me about some of the struggles that she has going on in her life and how she was looking for a church at that point. And I didn't even know she lives just down the road from my church. And so it sounds like they're going to try to come and join us this next Sunday. Uh, and, and her oldest son is definitely going to be joining mine at youth group. And so that was just something small. Uh, and, and who knows how that might help her in the long run. But I wanted to take that step to say, hey, you know what? I enjoy your son. I think that this would be a great thing for him. Uh, let me just show you this small little thing that, that says that I remember you and that, that I appreciate the relationship that he and I were able to develop. And uh, I, that's something really small, uh, but there are so many opportunities uh, that you can take advantage of. There are so many people that are out there that are hurting. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, is you don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a, a full-time missionary. You are all called to be on mission if you are a follower of Jesus. We all are called to do that. And it's that kind of love that people are looking for. One of the greatest reasons why people don't follow Jesus, they say, is because of the way other Christians act. Uh, they don't see them living it out. So that puts it back on us, everybody. We've got to be on mission. We've got to love people the way Christ has called us to. And who knows how that might impact them. So let's use social media, not as a time sucker, uh, but as a way to be on mission for Christ and to get after it and show people that we love them. I look forward to hearing your comments. Feel free to share this. Uh, and again, in two weeks, we'll be uh, showing our episode five as well, more about how we can be on mission together. I'll talk to you all later.